my uh, work has been changed through the, from the 70s till now very dramatically, but somehow it was a natural road because in the beginning I was very interested to understand what is the body. And I, of course, the first thing was about pain. What is the pain? What uh, is happening, you know, when you open the body? So in the, in, when I was in my 20s, I went to see the very important operations in hospitals, in, you know, in a, like operation of the brain, operation of the hip, operation of spine, three, four, five, six hours, to see when you open the body, what is inside, what, you know, how we use the, the you know, in the, the same instruments like making the table and then you put together and the body is there. To me it was really interesting how to understand, to use body as a material and to use the blood as a color and the, 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 the razor or knife as an as a instrument like a, like a pencil and not to be really focused on pain. And after this, I really transcended this part of the, of the physical um, kind of um, understanding of the body. And I got very much interested in the mental states. And to understand mental states, I made a lot of traveling. I went to, to live with Aborigines, etc., Australian desert. I got to know Tibet, Tibetan uh, you know, culture. I also learned a lot from the shamanism in South America. And all these different cultures learned me that actually the it's the mental state and state of mind is the more important the physical body and how we can use that state in order to push farther the limits. And then I came more and more to interesting to, to understand that mental states. So my work, like uh, the last three works I made that are the most important to me is House with Ocean of View, Seven Easy Pieces and uh, Artist is Present other pieces who really work and deals with the mental states. So they've been very big journey from the physical to mental. It was very, very important and was very difficult because I give up completely privacy for one entire year. You know, it's very hard for an artist who likes his privacy to be filmed in every possible situation, in every possible, you know, the moment of his life. And the camera had, uh, you know, access to my home, access to any other, you know, place where I was going, traveling with me and so on. But I done this sacrifice because I understood that the film is going to be projected to the large audience, especially television and uh, you know film festivals and the cinema, which especially to the audience who doesn't have no idea what performance is. And there's so much misunderstanding about performance. Performance has been misunderstood for the theater, for stand-up comedy, you know, for the you know different uh, for the dance and so on. And this film show very clearly what means. Uh, to prepare for this kind of uh, the, the work I've been doing for three months being MoMA and how difficult it was to, to, to deliver that kind of performance. And it really um, the, done a great job. I have to say that Matthew Akers, the director, really uh, understood that. And plus, he, what was very interesting about him is that he was very suspicious. He said, I don't believe that performance has this kind of transformative force and I don't believe in any of this. I said, okay, let's go into this adventure together and we see what will happen on the end. And on the end, he'd been transformed. He really understood you know, the, the seriousness of all this. And the performance is serious business. It's not just a kind of, you know, little thing. You're making opening and you do a little performance for the public and everybody's standing with a glass of water or wine and uh, not even look at you. The performance is really, really um, one of the most difficult life form of art. It's a living art, it's a time-based art and have a transformative force. We are talking about um, 1,716 people sitting in the front of me. And uh, from this amount of people, we are talking people waiting for hours and hours to do that. And there have been uh, 72 people who sit more than 12 times with me. And uh, including the guards of the museum, which was very touching for me. The guards of the museum who are every day there to guard the museum. They will go home on their free day, they come back and they sit in the front of me because they want to have their own experience. And from all these people, there will be 72 people keep coming back and coming back from different backgrounds, different age, different, um, you know, the, 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 the races or the, the countries they come from. And I become like my family inside the museum. And of course, there was one person who uh, sit seven hours, which was like so surprising. He came in the morning and he just stood there and stand when museum closed. And of course, there was interest well, who is the person is. And he started coming and he sit 21 times. 
and uh, on the end of this all um, uh, the journey, he tattooed big number 21 on his finger, on, on his arm, and he was the, the person that was very, um, underst wanted to understand who this guy is, you know, to meet him in the real life, but also the other 72 people who create a kind of group, and now every month they meet each other and they have a dinners together, because which unite them is this experience of artists is present. Maria Callas, imaš jo leđe, je on biografija, sada čika biografija da je Maria Callas, but Maria Callas have the there is there is something there about diva on one side, an extremely fragile and emotional human being, and the kind of tragedy of Maria Callas. She's the only person I know who died from broken heart. I know it's so romantic, but I really love Maria Callas biography. And that will be one, but I have to think about another woman, and that will be biography of Susa Zontag, which is very different energy, extremely full of force, full of curiosity, and full of the political consciousness. So the two completely opposite of women biographies I really like. First, I'd like to thank the, for this word, but I also want to say something to my uh, devoted and um, loved Italian public. My first performance I ever made outside of my country, ex-Yugoslavia, was in Italy. So my entire career of an artist started in Italy. And I made so many works here in different periods of my life. And the public never disappoint me. They're always there for me. And they share same emotions, same passions, and uh, really move my heart deeply. So I wanted to thank you to Italian public and hope that they will understand in the best possible way the movie Artist is Present. And thank you for this word.